pictures of uh, what firefighters have to deal with. They're working right now to ex fully extinguish a house fire down in the National City area. CW6's Amanda Shotsky is live at the scene with what happened. What's the latest? Well, the latest is that we have moved down this very long driveway so you can get a better look at this house that when they first got here, it was fully engulfed. You can see the flames are out now, but we still see smoke periodically coming from the home. We do know that it started in a storage shed and moved into the home. And at this point, there is one person who was injured. She has third degree burns on her arm. And there were seven dogs that were inside the house when this happened happened with along with five family members um, of those seven six have been accounted for um, I'm gonna bring in battalion chief Hernandez yet again you you said that uh, just a few moments ago you thought another dog had been found that's not the case uh, that is correct um, we're still uh, you know looking in the backyard the yards pretty large in nature and slopes down towards the canyon uh, so there's still some uh, firefighters that are looking in the back for that outstanding uh, dog you know, coming down the driveway here, we can really see how difficult this is to fight. There, You could not bring a truck even close to this house to start fighting it. That is correct. In fact, uh, we have uh, pre-connect lines that are attached to the, uh, the fire apparatus. So we had to extend that line fully. And then from that, we had to attach additional lines to extend to actually extinguish the fire. So it was a challenge. With that said, this could have been a whole lot worse. And you were talking to me a little bit off camera about the fact that this house backs up to a canyon and right now it happened at a time where it's it's pretty cold out it hasn't been that way it's been warm this entire week and it could have been much worse coming down the canyon absolutely yeah the, uh, one of the good things is that the fire was contained to the area uh, the tr the one individual home it didn't migrate down in, into the canyon and traditionally um, the winds here in San Diego come off the water and go southeast uh, which would eventually uh, pushed it into the canyon. So fire crews did an outstanding job of keeping it to the area of origin. We've seen some people come back into the home next door over here. Have they been allowed back in for good or is this just to get some stuff? Uh, no, that is for good. In fact, uh, uh, the police officers had asked if it was safe to bring them back in. Uh, we let them know that yes, uh, other than the house uh, that was uh, where the fire occurred, all the other families are allowed to come back in and they're doing that currently. As far as the family that lives here, we know is a family of five. Will they be able to stay in their house or is this something they're going to be displaced today? Uh, they will be displaced. Uh, earlier uh, and originally reported, uh, we were going to contact Red Cross for them, which is an outstanding service. However, the family does have uh, a family in the area that they can stay with. Do we have any idea at this point what caused the fire? Still investigating. Uh, still investigating. Thank you, Battalion Chief Hernandez, for joining us yeah. once again. Uh, this fire still under investigation, still a very active scene here. You know, I did have a chance to speak with the woman who was injured. Her name is Carla. She says that I can share her story, but she was very shaken up and did not want to go on camera. She said that it was uh, the fire actually reached her sister's bedroom, and she went in there. She was trying to help, and she was burned on her forearm. Um, but she is okay. She denied some medical attention and to actually go to the hospital, but she did receive third degree burns. So a very scary situation for this family. We are happy to report that everyone did get out okay, although they are still looking for that one dog. Six did make it out. And of course, we will remain on scene as fire crews will as well, still trying to determine the cause of this fire. We are coming to you live from National City. Amanda Shotsky, CW6 News.